Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about how to define a method of a class outside the class definition. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, just for the demonstration purpose, let's create a class and let's call it as human. And here, let's say the access specifier is going to be public and before that, let's include string header file so it's gonna be hash include string all right now i'm gonna create a variable of type string in my class you know which is the property of this human class and let's call it as name and let's say we have a method you know we're just gonna declare that method here so it's gonna be a void method and introduce and that's it let's say this function or this method is not going to take any arguments and also we are not defining this function right here we're just declaring it so we can define a method of a class outside that class definition by using a scope resolution operator so to use this scope resolution operator we need to type colon symbol twice by using this scope resolution operator we can define the method of a class outside and also make sure that you are defining all the methods of a class before creating an object of it otherwise you'll get error so here to define a method of a class outside its class definition first we need to specify the return type of that method so here it's gonna be void and then we need to specify the class name human then the scope resolution operator colon two times and then the method name so it's gonna be introduced and if that method takes any parameters you need to specify that here between this parenthesis and then the function or the method body so inside this method we're gonna write C out and here we can refer to this name property of this class human and here we are defining this method outside this class definition that's why if you want to access any properties of that class then you guys need to use this scope resolution operator again so here is gonna be human and then colon two times and then the property name which is name and then I'm gonna say end line that's it okay now we have declared a method in a class and we have defined that method of that class outside the definition of that particular class all right okay now we're gonna create an object of this human class to do that in my main function I'm gonna write the class name and then the object name let's say anil and uh, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna assign the value for this name property so it's gonna be anil dot name equal to anil and uh, then we're gonna call the introduce method that's it so now i'm gonna save this i'm gonna build and run this so it says anil so this is how you guys can uh, define a method outside the class definition by declaring the prototype of that method in the class and the next thing is let's say in this class definition we have initialized any value to this um, any default value to this name property let's say in this case no name and uh, if I build and run this we won't get any error but you know when we define any value to the name property for our object the no name will be overwritten but if I remove this one and I'm gonna build and run this again and you know we get no name so here we are initializing this property name inside this class but we can't use the scope resolution operator to initialize this property name outside this class.
it if this property is of static type you know which we can learn in the upcoming tutorials then only we can use the scope resolution operator to initialize that just to demonstrate that i'm going to remove this initialization and here first i'm going to write the data type so it's going to be string and then the human scope resolution operator and then the name and if i try to initialize this one right here we'll get some errors let's say no name and i'm gonna build and run this you guys can see the error and if i open up the logs it says std string human name is not a static member of class human that's why so we can say that we can use the scope resolution operator in classes to define the methods outside the classes and we can only initialize the static properties of the class outside the classes using the scope resolution operator and we can't initialize the normal variables so that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial